Hey guys, Afflicto here, back with another video tutorial. This time I'm going to take a look at adding effects and using envelopes in FL Studio. First off, let's take a look at this pattern here. This is just a simple beat that I made for this tutorial. This is how it sounds. Very simple and, you know, very short. Basically what we're gonna do is, let's see here, bring up the playlist here. Now, let's take the first pattern and copy that over to the second pattern. And on the first pattern, we're gonna remove this um, this melody here, or this very simple action number three citrus. Um, gonna put, put um, pattern one in here, in the playlist. Display that. This is basically what it is. Now take the second pattern and place that here. I'm just going to copy that over. And this is what it sounds like. You can pretty much tell how it will sound. Pretty much. So yeah. What we are going to do now is to bring our melody here, copy that, that over to the third pattern. I'm just gonna bring that up to about, that would be 16, I believe, would work. Bring that over there. Yep, that would probably work. Yeah. So what we have now is basically the beat four times on this long thing. What would probably be better is if I take this one. Out. Now we have this beat. Now let's open up the mixer. Now as you can see, we have a master track, which is, you know, if you add anything to the master track, all the sounds in your whole song will be affected by the effects that you add on the master track. Now we got, I believe, 99 different, yep, 99 different inserts or channels. Let's go ahead and select the first one. You can always right click and rename that. I'm going to rename this to uh, Action 3. Action 3 is this sound right here. That one. Um, on Action 3, I'm going to add by clicking, oops, that's not uh, by clicking one of the slots for action 3 and selecting fruity filter that's what we're going to be using now just for this tutorial let's see how this sounds let's mute all the other sounds except for the uh, the um, action 3 sound this is how it sounds we, if we take go into the action 1 channel settings I set the effects or the target mixer track to number one. The effects that we are applying to number one on this channel will be sent to, you know, this one, Citrus, which is the sound. 
So if we go to the Fruity Filter that we have in channel 1, and for, for instance we can bring down the cutoff frequency, and the low pass, and the high pass, as well as bond pass and resonance. I'm going to reset everything. I'm going to hold down control in the timeline or in the playlist. Click and drag on the timeline of the top here. Hold down control and click and drag to, to basically mark this area. Now we're going to add or right click or pretty much we're going to basically add envelopes to the cutoff frequency, the high and low pass frequency and paste that into the timeline or the playlist. So go ahead and right click on the cutoff frequency and click create automation clip and do that for the high, high pass as well as the low pass. If we go into the uh, playlist now, it should have three filters basically, which is our, you know, cutoff frequency, high pass and low, low pass. These are called envelopes. What they do is you know, you can animate knobs and effects. You know, you can do, you can create animation clips for pretty much any knob you can find in FL Studio, except for some plugins, maybe. On the top, or on the beginning, sorry, I'm gonna drag the fruity filter effects down to the bottom, and it automatically creates, you know, uh, um, keyframes at the end, so let's, let's play that back. That sounds pretty cool. Um, let's unmute the rest of the samples. That's basically how you use filters and, and envelopes and in the mixer and stuff like that. So just a really quick tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please check out the website at pixelborn.tk where you can you can basically go and watch all my videos and tutorials, but I believe it is better watching them here rather than on YouTube. There are some couple of neat features on the website that I uh, got. So you've got on tutorials, you've got 3 Studio Max and there will eventually be a lot more, many other categories. Review software games, There's, it's, it's quite a lot easier to, to watch them there with a lot more information as well. And yeah, also you can do a number of different things on my website. You can register as a user for free, of course, and you can you can use the forums, and uh, you can you can post comments and rate stuff on the website, and pretty much just check out what's going on at Pixelborn Studios. So again, thanks for watching and. Yeah, have fun.